We are so lucky to live in the climate we do. Right now, I have some amazing fruit and veg in season in my garden, including cherries, which will grow and fruit in the hills really well. It's a lot harder to get crops on the sand plain though. One thing that you can grow down on the sand plain very well, and mine growing right next to my cherries, are mango trees. They've been in a mass of flower and they've just started producing all these beautiful little fruit. Now around about April, May, those fruit are going to be 500 grams to a kilo each and succulent and delicious and I can't wait because you can never have enough homegrown mangoes. This is a rarity. Babacos are a cold climate member of the pawpaw family that originate from the Andes and they prefer cooler conditions. Now the fruit is also known as champagne fruit and when it turns yellow, well you get to eat it and you eat it fresh, it's got a really unique taste. It's a bit of an anise champagne sherbetty flavour. That's how it gets its name, champagne fruit. It's absolutely delicious with vanilla ice cream. Raspberries are unbelievably good when eaten fresh. The ones you buy from the shops taste bland compared to the sun-ripened vine-picked fruit. They are so easy to grow and you'll get incredible crops each year once your plants have grown and matured. Mulberries are in season now, although this one's a little different. It's a white mulberry from India, known as the Chartoute. Now they might look a little bit unusual, but get over it because I'll tell you what, they taste incredible. They're about 90% fructose, so they're sugar, fruit sugar, and the best thing about them is that they're white, so they don't stain your face, your hands, or your clothes. Now, all of these fruit are easy to grow at home. They grow well in my place, they're gonna grow well in yours. So give it a go.